and welcome. Today we're doing a quick mod on my PC. If you're new here, my name's Katie. I'm a freelance creative director based out of Dallas. So the mod I'm doing today is adding an LED screen to the back of the PC case. I'm honestly just doing this for aesthetics. I think it'll be really cool. And hopefully it'll be really easy. So let's go ahead and jump into it and I'll get the PC turned off. Hello from voiceover Katie. So let's open this baby up. I ordered this screen set off of Amazon and it wasn't even the first one I bought. The first one I had to send back because it wouldn't fit. So I highly recommend getting this one. I'll have a link to it in the description below. This set came with everything you will need and some things you will not need. Also, the instructions for putting this screen together are on the product page on Amazon, but I do recommend following my instructions a little more because it did take some tinkering and some little differences to get it into the PC. Now that we have everything unboxed, we can start putting our screen into the frame. For this project, you will not need any of the other pieces that come in the package. You will just need the frame, the screen, and the back. First, put the screen inside the frame and line up the little holes on the edges. Grab the long white screws, also called part G, and put them into the holes. Rule of thumb, you want the long side of the screw pointing to the back. Next, drop the little circular pieces called I onto the screw. All right, move the screen and frame to the side and grab the back. So grab those little gold bar screw covers <laughs> that came with your set and those are what we're going to use to attach the screen to the PC. In this video I was using the old instructions but here I'm telling you what you should do. So next you'll attach those gold little screw bars to the back of the back piece, so on the black side. So the set is only going to come with enough to do two different screw areas, so make sure to do diagonal spots when you're screwing them in. In this video, I have them attached in the Y spot, but I recommend doing them in the Z spot. It'll fit better with the PC. Okay, hopefully that made sense and you have them attached now. So when you do, go ahead and attach the back part to the screen and frame. To do that, you'll grab the piece labeled E and screw it on uh, tight enough, but not too tight. Okay, you have it all put together. Now you can attach it into your PC. As I mentioned, you're only gonna have enough pieces to do a diagonal, which you can kind of see how I did it here, but this is holding up pretty sturdy for me, so no problem at all. Also, if you wanna be smarter than me, plug in the cords before you attach it inside. You're welcome. To set up your monitor, you will go into settings, display, and from there you can change the orientation, how you want the display to look, stuff like that. Mine by default started mirroring my first display, my monitor one, but I changed it to its own little monitor in the settings. So this might be a good part to add, but you see how the screen, it's still pretty dark. You can barely see, you have to like really go in an angle to see the graphic. So you can actually adjust the settings in Wallpaper Engine here. I'm gonna do it right now. So I'm gonna bump up the brightness. And honestly, I'm like looking at it as I'm doing it, but you know, you're just gonna have to play with it. So we're gonna, I think I bumped down the contrast. Yeah, down the contrast for this one, bump the saturation. So let's see it with those settings. So much better, right? And I was even playing with a couple different other ones and and that this rule of thumb for the settings isn't gonna be the same for every one of them. Um, so you'll have to go in and adjust it per screen, but hopefully that helps. I had to figure that out. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it because I had fun with this project um, and I couldn't find any tutorials on how to do this for a leanly dynamic case. So hopefully this helps you too. If this video helped you or if you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me and I hope to see you back. Bye.